Hi there, and thank you for taking an interest in supporting the campaign to elect Deborah Souter to Chilliwack City Council. My name is Ian, and today I'm here to tell you a little bit about canvassing. Now, canvassing, for those of you who don't know, in the context of a political campaign, is really just us getting out and talking to voters. Uh, so this can take a couple of forms, either knocking on doors or street canvassing, where you talk to people as they come along on the street, or canvassing at an event where you're either at a table and people come by or you're at sort of a, a larger area and you walk around the people who are also milling around. Um, for the most part, people often think that canvassing involves talking about politics and I would like to just sort of dispel that myth right now. The only person who should be really talking about policies and that sort of thing is the candidate, Deborah, in this case. For us, uh, we're our primary message, well, we have two primary messages, and this is really the, the focus of this entire campaign. One, there is a municipal election on October 15th, and we need to get everyone out and vote. And if you're getting out there to vote, please consider voting for Deborah. Nice and simple, right? So uh, when we're knocking at a door, this type of conversation should really only last a minute or two. More often than not, people are not expecting to have someone come by to talk about politics and they might not have their wits gathered about them to discuss those kinds of things, uh, at least on the spot. So what we try and do is just to let people know. We say, hey, there's this thing happening so that they know. And then we might offer them the bit of paperwork that we have for them. So there will be a printout that all of the canvassers will have when they go out door knocking uh, or when they're at their events. Uh, so for the most part, as I say, people are not going to be super interactive right away, but if they are, if they express some interest and they want to know more about the campaign, they want to know more about Deborah, uh, we have the lovely sheets that you'll have to, to fill out their contact information, so phone, phone number is really the most important. Uh, after talking to person face to face, the next best way to engage with the citizen is via the phone. Um, so we collect their name, their phone, their address, if they're, we ask if they're, maybe if they're interested in hosting a sign or volunteering, and, and those are really the type of things that, that we really want to capture when we're knocking on doors or when we're talking to potential voters. Is if, they're in, if they show some interest, yes, let's have a little bit more of a conversation with them, but uh, generally, for the most part, we're not gonna, uh, people just really will not find that uh, in the moment, as they say. So we leave them the information, and hopefully they'll give us a call back not too long after that, or maybe shoot us an email. There's lots of ways to get in touch with the campaign, as you know. So, uh, again, if someone shows a little bit more interest, we have four major ways of volunteering on the campaign. So, A, doing what you're doing, canvassing, when you say, this is lots of fun, you get to go talk to your neighbors, get to know your neighborhood a little bit better, and know Chilliwack a little bit better. Uh, not everyone has the time to do that, so though, so maybe they would like to donate to the campaign, in which case they can visit the website and find the PayPal link there. Uh, they can also host a lawn sign, which is going to be, as I say, part of your forms that you might be filling, or that you will be filling out if people are showing some interest. And the most exciting thing that we do is to host a party. So in this situation, that would be where Deborah brings some wine and some cheese or some coffee or something and the person uh, just invites their friends over on a particular night and they have a grand time talking with the candidate and maybe talking some politics but generally talking about Chilliwack. So, um, it sounds, it's pretty simple. It is this simple. So uh, there are only a really few things to keep in mind. So uh, if we're going out canvassing, you want to make sure that the campaign knows where you're going. So that's either contacting Deborah or contacting me uh, or someone else who might be in charge of canvassing at the time. So just make sure that someone knows when you're going out. Don't forget your clipboard. That's going to be really important if anyone wants to collect some info, if anyone wants a sign or you want to collect some information for volunteering or maybe someone has a question that the candidate should be following up with. So don't forget your clipboard. Um, whenever possible, absolutely go in pairs. So there are multiple reasons why we do this. First and foremost, uh, safety is really a priority for anyone who's volunteering with any kind of organization. So uh, when you go in pair, you have a little bit of extra safety, someone to watch out and so forth. Because uh, you, you never know what's going to be behind another door. A million, a million times, 999,000 times out of a million, it's, it's going to be totally awesome, but you know, you never know what can happen, so it's always good to just be safe. It's also good for the campaign as well to see uh, there's more than one person coming around, it gives a sense of something bigger happening, and also that allows one person to hold your clipboard, 
and another person to talk uh, so that there can be more freedom of conversation while the other person collects information. This is also a great way to train. Maybe you've never gone canvassing before and this, in this situation you would be going with a more experienced canvasser who helps you get a bit more comfortable with the situation until you, know, you can go out canvassing with someone new or yourself. Uh, and on it goes. Um, so about half the houses that you will visit will not have anyone in them. It's just very common, no matter what time of day you go, there's not gonna be a lot of people at home all of the time. So just prepare yourself to be listening, maybe do your little count of how long it is, to, how long it takes to wait for someone to come to the door, and if they're not coming, leave a leaflet and move on to the next door, nice and easy. Um, so uh, un again, unless the, the resident is really interested in engaging with the campaign uh, on, a, on a serious level, we really want to minimize these conversations because it's super easy to get lost in a conversation with your neighbors or your friends or someone who's just really chatty about something exciting about Chilliwack. And there's plenty to talk about in Chilliwack, but it is uh, important for the campaign to make sure that you know we're not waste, uh, spending too much time at any particular house. We have a message to get out, which is to get out that vote. and. Uh, it, municipal campaigns historically have very low voter turnout, so this is where it's really important for us to reach as many voters as possible and make sure that they get out and exercise their civic duty. Um, don't ever enter a resident's home. It might be a sweet little old lady, and, and that's just luck, and there, there's no real reason for concern, but you can just never be totally certain. In the same way that it's a wise idea to go out in pairs, it's very wise to not enter the resident's house as well. And in that light if there's anything that ever makes you feel uncomfortable or that you're not feeling safe distance yourself from that house right away get yourself to a place of safety and contact the campaign and let us know this i've never even really heard of these things happening and i have a, a lot of experience cam uh, canvassing in different campaigns across the country this is really just best practices to make sure that everyone is as safe as they can be when they're getting out in the public and other than that, make sure that you've got a smile on your face because it's a pretty exciting thing we're doing to elect a really awesome councillor to Chilliwack City Council. And I know that Deborah is the type of candidate as well who's going to be smiling and talking to every single person that she can with as much joy as she can about the campaign because we have a, a excellent thing that we're doing here and making sure democracy is as safe and healthy as possible by making sure as many people as they can get out and vote. And if you have any questions, do not hesitate to shoot me an email or talk to Deborah, and uh, we'll f make sure that you feel as confident as you can getting out and canvassing. Uh, thank you very much, everyone, and good luck out there on the road.